Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm bringing you guys a series called Pack Team Build. And as you guys know, there is a 125k pack out right now. So I thought that it would be a pretty good opportunity to at least showcase players that might have not really been used in HUT that often, at least for you guys at least. Not all of you guys spend coins on gold players and you guys actually play with them. So I thought this would be a good opportunity instead of giving you guys maybe a 200k team build where I've only played with those specific players for a while. I'm going to basically build a team completely fresh with a pack just from opening up a pack. And I will fill out every single roster space there is in that edit lineup team. So what I'm going to show you here is the marketplace, the store, and it does include 26 players. Uh, and that should be able to fill out the roster spaces because there are 20. There's 12 offense. There is six defense and there is two goalie or two. Yeah, there are two goalies. So I'm going to try to fill out every single roster space I can. And if I cannot, then I will go into the marketplace and buy a random player for that position. One, hopefully, that I've not used before in this game. And hopefully, to give you guys an opportunity to see how these players play in game. You guys can make out for yourselves whether or not you want to use these players. Instead of you guys going out and buying and testing it out. Maybe losing coins from EA tax or the market crashes. I will play with these players for you. And you guys will get to see. I thought it was a pretty good idea instead of just going ahead and making a 3 400k team build that some people might not be able to use and some people might use. So, anyways, let's go and open up the pack and let's get it going. So, we're gonna open up this player premium pack. I don't doubt that I'm gonna get a shit ton of at least duplicate players, so I will have to take some time to at least write down all the players and put them into the team. But here is the first pack 26 items, 26 rares. But let's open this pack up now. And let's see what we get. There's 125k here. And let's see. We got Conacher, Dayarnay, Weidman, Siegel, uh, Sestito, Larson, Coyle, Hemschke, Peron, Svedberg. All right, all right. So highest overall looks like it's Peron so far. Smith, Orpik, that's a pretty good defenseman. Breer, Severson, Little, Seidenberg, Martinez, Vandeveld, Streit, Emelin, Tarasenko, Erhoff, Backlund, Schmid, McCulloch, and Halak. So that is a pretty shitty pack, I'm not going to lie, but you know what? I think it's worth trying to use some of these players. So, I'm going to add them into my team, and I'll show you the final roster. Alright guys, so this is the team I was able to build with the 125k pack. I actually figured out that I got a shit ton of left defensemen, which there was nothing I could do. But that doesn't really affect it. I have put left defensemen on the right side before. So this is the team I've created, at least with the defense. The offenses, all the offense I have. Uh, there were a couple players that are on the right side or they're centermen, but I thought, you know what, instead of using a player out of their position, I'm just going to go ahead and go into the market and buy a left winger, a random left winger that I have no control over. So what I'm going to do is go to the marketplace, go to the auction house, and buy a left winger, and whatever I get, I throw it onto the fourth line left wing. Okay, so I'm now going to buy the player, and I'm going to make sure that the level is at least gold, uh, because I don't really want to use bronze players. Their stats are not good enough. For the team at least i'd rather use even a gold uh, free agent i don't really care but i'm gonna choose probably the 15th one and hopefully it's not a player that i've already used uh because i don't want to use a player that i've used before so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen i've already used schwartz before so i'm gonna buy cunningham throw him onto the team and he will be now on the fourth line i've never used him before so it's going to be pretty interesting Okay, so the team is completed. I threw in Cunningham into the fourth line. And you can see here we are in Division 1. So it's going to be a challenge. That's the thing with these uh, type of players. I mean, they are going to be playing just as well as I am. And especially with this team, it's going to be a struggle. But it's a good way because you guys don't maybe want to spend 125k on a pack and then try out some of the players. But I will do that for you, basically. Uh, because I do have the coins right now. And I don't mind doing it. Uh, I don't really care about my record too much. But... There is no form to the lineups, at least. I just threw them whatever they are supposed to be, and we're just going to see if they work out together. So let's start up a game, and let's see who in this team actually plays very, very well. Alright, so we're getting this game going, and you can just tell by his team. He's got Bossy, he's got Giroud. I don't know exactly who's on his other side, but his team does not look bad, so it's going to be a challenge, especially with this team. We're going to see if we can win this game, or at least show you guys how well some of these players will play. Oh, come on. We got a little bit of a break there, but... Oh, come on, come on. Oh, there's a Martinez that is back. Pretty good. 
Uh, let's play some good defense here. But Martinez is not too bad as well. I'm liking him so far. Pass it up to Vandeville. He's our 78 overall player, I think. You can see how he kind of plays, kind of skates. Uh, let's see if I can do something with him. Oh, there's a sauce there. Oh, strike. He actually bit down a little bit. Okay, so after the first period, I feel like one thing that is really lacking for me is the speed on the defense. I'm not exactly sure uh, what the problem is right now because he does have players like Bergeron and he's got players like Kessel. Definitely, okay, I know what's going on. His players are faster, so it might be worth buying defensemen that are fast and not just players that or defenser, defensemen that are just good at checking or defense because you need a defenseman that's all around. But so far, the offense is not too bad. Uh, because I am pretty good at offense. I can get around the players, but there's no no one that's actually scored a goal for me yet So we're gonna see if the second period changes things Okay, 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 Briar shoot. Oh, Briere missed an empty net. Come on shoot it Perron Perron is good with a puck at least he's got some pretty good hands Oh What a pass Hemsky finish it Hemsky, look at that speed by Hemsky to get the breakaway and also hold the line just a little bit. So that makes it one to nothing. I'm, I want to see the stats or at least who got that assist on that play because I don't exactly know. But that was Christian Erhoff who made that nice pass to Hemsky and Hemsky beating those really fast defensemen like Shattenkirk and Martin St. Louis. So he's a pretty good player. Mm, oh, Jesus. This guy that I'm using right now is very, very slow. I want to see what that player's name is. Siegel is not the best player in terms of skating, that's for sure. Okay, Coyle. Coyle's got some speed. Coyle's got some speed. Pass it to him. Oh, he's a little bit slow on the slow side. All right, so that is the first goal. Doing every single glitch in the book for him, at least. But he does make it one-to-one. -one. I'm not going to blame Svedberg on that one too much. Because I did give him that opportunity. I'm still playing uh, not too great defense there. So I don't blame Svedberg on that one. Oh, there is another goal. Who was that? That was Daniel Briere, also in the right place. This line is on fire. I think that's the same line with Hemschke uh, and Coyle. Let me just double check with that. No assist, though. There was no assist on that one, but the line did get at least all plus one. Oh, there it is. There it is. Tarasenko's got the puck. He's got some hands on him. Nice pass. Oh, and right on top of the net. Come on. Take another shot. Tarasenko, what a goal. Comes out from behind the net. Top left cheese. Tarasenko, Tarasenko is a player I've used, but he's the only right wing that I actually had from that pack to fill up that line. So Tarasenko getting us a goal unassisted. Let's take another look at that goal. But he just comes around. That is a pretty effective move coming out from the outside and trying to shoot on the far side. So there it is. Tarasenko with a, another goal. Oh, straight with a nice shot from the point as well. Coyle's got some body size. That's the thing with uh, Coyle at least. He doesn't have the fastest skating, but he is pretty good with the body. But uh, hopefully we don't give him a goal. Here, Svedberg with a huge save. 77 overall making that. That's insane. Okay, so that is the end of the game. As you can see, we did win the game 3-1. I'm not going to say this guy was one of the better players I played. He pretty much did every single thing in the book uh, to at least score glitch goals. He did the same exact thing, so I know how to shut that kind of plays down. So that's why he wasn't able to play too well with, at least against me. But I want to check out the box score as well as the three stars. As you can see, the three players that played very well for me was Daniel Briere, Alex Hemsky, and Vladimir Tarasenko. So those three players are maybe players that you might want to pick up for your team or at least try out for yourselves. But let me go to the home stats here and show you exactly what type of points every single player got as well as a small little review on the players that I did like. I'm not going to go too much in detail with the players I didn't like. Um, I won't even say anything about him. But Backlund, pretty much non-existent in terms of scoring. Daniel Briere, he's almost like an Alex Hemschke in the right place at the right time and they are fast players to use. Same with Corey Conacher, he's a little bit on the smaller side. I didn't really like. Coyle, he's got some body size to him, but I wouldn't recommend him over someone else that's a little bit bigger in terms of a centerman. I don't know, maybe Joe, Joe Thornton might be a little bit better than Coyle. 
Uh, and other than that, Airhoff is a very good defenseman that I like to use. He is 85 overall, but he is only under 1,000 coins. That might be a defenseman that you might want to pick up. And Alex Hemschke is also a player that I really like playing in this game. Almost like Daniel Briere, he's very, very fast and agile with the puck. He's got good hands. Alex Hemschke is a player that I do recommend. Perron was also a very good player to use. He is 86 overall. Maybe he might cost you about a 1,500 coins. But he has some really, really good hands that I really like using. Uh, always had the puck with him. Even when he got body checked, he had that body size and the stick handling abilities. Tarasenko, of course, 85 overall. But he is a solid overall player. I think he is a Russian, right? So he's got some nice speed. He's got some body size to him because he is a Russian. And I do like using Vladimir Tarasenko as well. And I'm also usually pretty good at face-offs as well. Uh, so as you can see here, the face-off percentage for Backlund was 62%. I did win uh, pretty much a majority of the draws. Uh, usually when a player doesn't know how to take face-offs, you can capitalize on it, even with really, really bad players. But Backlund, 62%. Coil, 100%. So he won all his face-offs there. 66% for Brian Little, which is not bad. That is pretty much expected. And 60% for Vandeveld. He was not one of the greatest centermen I like using. He is a very low overall. But also back to the goalies. Svedberg, as you saw, made some pretty good saves. But then again, he did let in that goal, which I do blame on myself. I think I could have easily gotten a shutout on that game. But Svedberg, not a bad goalie to use. You know what? Maybe you should try him out for yourself. He was pretty quick and agile. And he did make that huge save with the glove with the left hand that he does have. So these are the final stats for the game. I hope you guys enjoyed the series. I plan to do this a lot more. Whenever a 60k special pack is out or 125k special pack is out, I will plan to make some more of these videos. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the series or whether or not there's any changes to it. And if you really did enjoy it, leave a like. I would like to see how many people actually want to watch the series compared to something like Hot Roulette or Pack Squad. So your input is greatly appreciated for this type of video. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys. Okay, he wants another goal. He wants another one. He's coming back for another one. He's doing the wraparound. Ooh, not a bad play, not a bad play. Oh, Peros, he's open! Oh, another miss. Oh, there it is, Peros. Come on, Peros! So close.